My name is Sydney Wells, and hunting and fishing is in my blood. You may not know it yet, but it's in yours too. Join me as I travel the world on an epic adventure. This is Barcel Outdoors, presented by Rocky Boots. We're off. The magical land of Patagonia. That's in North America, right? South America. I think the last time I went to South America was Brazil, and it's been a while. I'm excited. I'm pumped. I want to say it was 2018, so five years ago. Dang, is that the only time you were in South America? Yeah. Second time in a year. Why are we going down? We're going up. We're on the bottom floor. Are you sure about that? Oh, access to all terminals, level two. The one thing that I've learned about Alex is he's very bad at direction. Like, he can't have, he's short-term memory. So he can't remember directions or like, like a picture, what is the word? Photogenic memory? Picture? Photogenic, photographic memory. Oh, photographic. I'm actually really good with directions, don't mind her. The only reason why you're saying that is because her hometown is very confusing. We're going up. We're on the bottom floor. It's like three lights. <laughs> Yeah, three lights. That's three too many. Oh my gosh, uh, we look so morphed. <laughs> it's fish eye. Like, look how big my, my hands look. Yeah, oh, they're just really big hands. Look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Group four. We're going to Argentina. It's kind of hard to explain to a border agent that you're staying in a tent in Argentina. They were a bunch of bitches. <laughs> they were not nice. My dad's deaf. What? Every time he asked a question, he didn't know what he was saying. What hotel are you staying at? Ma'am, we're staying in a tent. <laughs> no, what hotel? It's not a hotel. Give me an address. <laughs> we need an address. <laughs> we don't have an address. It's the wilderness. Where'd you get that shirt? What shirt? You're looking good. I'm feeling good. You're like a frat boy. I, I saw you. Hello. Un gusto, un gusto. Nice to meet Hello. You. Hello. Hello. I told you. I knew because he had his farmer's hat on. And down here in Argentina, they wear a certain hat when they're farmers, and he had one on. And so I was like, I thought this is the guy who's picking this up. And Alex is like, No, I don't think so. And I'm like, Really? He's like, yeah, he's got bags. I'm like, Oh, okay. Just walk past him. I'm like, I knew it was him. Last year, that's the truck we hunted ducks for. Me llamo Sydney. Me llamo Sydney. Wow! We made it! Time to chase Red Stag! So we left the airport about an hour ago. The first 30 minutes was blacktop. Now we have four and a half hours of gravel. We haven't passed a house since we, in the last 20 minutes. There's puma in all this country, according to our guide. If there's any country that looks similar to it, I'd say it's Spain. <laughs> we finally made it. Oh, geez. How are you, man? <laughs> Hi! Nice to meet you. Very really nice to meet you, Alex. So good. How was the flight? So good. Good? Yes. Okay. The I'm ride. Glad to hear that. The ride was interesting. Uh, yes. It, it was oh, maybe, nice to meet you. I'm Alex. Alex. My father doesn't speak any English, but. Okay. Me llamo Alejandro. Ah, so you speak Spanish? A poquito. Okay. So That's come on. Okay. Uh, yes. A long ride, good. but it's a remote place. That's you know? the good thing. Look here it is. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we made. Oh, Alex is like the boat. Yeah. That's all you. The boat. Who cares about the rest of Dad? We made it. Dad got car sick, but we made it. And here's camp. This camp. Yes, it's the camp, the main camp. So we're gonna spend like seven days, six and a half maybe here and try to find some stacks. What do you think, Dad? Uh, well, I'm recovering from motion sickness because it was a long three hours through them hills. But <laughs> now that I'm here, it feels good. I may go waveboarding a little later. I see they got a waveboard for me. I thought it could be interesting too. And I have like the neoprene. Oh, I don't know how to say. Yes. Look at what they're already preparing our meal. Oh wow! I didn't even see this. What are you making, Sheena, over here? Uh, you should ask Marcelo. Hi, Sydney. Marcelo. What are you, what are you cooking? Yeah. ¿Qué estamos cocinando? Pollo al disco. This is exciting. Yes, it's like chicken at the pan. What do you I, think? I was just telling your dad this is the craziest thing I've ever done. Like this is just the pan right here is insane. Do you want some water? This is our first time in Patagonia and it's beautiful and right where we're staying is a bunch of water right behind us. Alex is so excited about that. I see some fishing poles over here against the tree. They got the horses over here ready to go. It's, it's gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait to be here. The environment here is absolutely lush and so beautiful it's actually super thick so i feel like if we get on a herd of stags or a big bull it's gonna be pretty dang good spot in stocking because we got a lot of cover it's not really wide open country so i'm very hopeful with the bow but we should find some stag we just got here so let's go ahead and enjoy our night and see what home looks like for the next week We're gonna see our main home. Oh my gosh, it's you. <clears throat> good morning. No good, hot. Uh, all right guys day one morning we're all getting our stuff together we we'll be on horses today we're gonna be vlogging off the gopro just for stability oh. and exploring the mountains of patagonia for red stack so stay tuned are you ready absolutely what was wrong with that that was a great <laughs> intro okay I thought it was great <laughs> and folks i just want you to know that i'll be blogging my ass off today and you're really gonna like it day one here we go sheena yep hey <laughs> we are ready to go yama blanco blanco <laughs> this, this is my horse blanco <laughs> glad i'm not on that one blanco's a little bit chiller all right blanco Nice and slow. Slow it up, right? Slow it up. Slow it down. <laughs> Find it. Okay. So. Oh. He doesn't like to go slow. Holy cow, it's got some bad gas. Are you thinking, Alex? Thinking this is gonna be a long ride. this mountain via horses and I think we got a little roadblock in the way of fallen trees so we're trying to figure out how to navigate around it. It's a little chilly, it's fall time here so this is when they're just gonna start roaring but when we got here our guide said that they're not quite roaring yet, it needs to be a little colder so we think that it's gonna take a couple of days until we start really hearing them so unfortunately we gotta spot them but 
Hopefully luck's on our side and we're gonna get a big pull down. Also, don't look down. Bye. Adios. Big one. Big one. Gina's coming with me. You ready to go, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Absolutely nothing. So we're back to the drawing boards. Gonna go back, get a game plan together, try to slock me red stag. Camera boy's following me. That was mean. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa there, boy. She attracts all the wild dogs. This one's kind of mean. Yeah. They keep licking me. Can I not okay? Don't touch the dogs. Porque los perros acá, esta es una zona endémica de hidatidosis. Clean your hands. <laughs> the guy just goes, clean your hands. Don't touch the dogs. <laughs> That's not a good thing. <laughs> that is not a good sign. The one that was licking Sid was licking that one's butthole. <laughs> He knows like a lot of specific things that we're like, really? But he knows a lot. Great. So don't pet the dogs. It'll be like the crab she has. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Meh. If it ain't pretty obvious already, I can tell that these horses are already pretty happy because they don't have to pack out Red Stag. 